Welcome to Kingdom Maker. This is Simant 2020. And today's episode, we're going to talk about taking out a level 28 Royal Woodside or Quarry or um, Farmville. So people have asked me before uh, what type of gear and units I use. So here's my um, Noble. It is a tier 4. I just got tier 4 today on this guy. Uh, Marshall. And you can see he's level 28. He's got some gear. He's got the crown. Um, but yeah, so there's that guy. Uh, then the... Let's see here. Well, you can see the units there. Um, and then I use this guy. This is my um, guy with the trebuchets. Uh, nothing special there. And then I have this guy. This is actually the first guy that goes into the battle to soften them up. No, oh, I forgot to put in the gear there. Oops. I'll have to remember to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Let's go to the replay. You can see I'm about to hit 10 million soon. All right, so here we go. Um, so basically, on this guy, on this battle, I use the uh, backdoor method. So right at the start, I throw my flag all the way in the back, and then I have uh, these guys. So I want to use these guys to take out the three groups of swords that come up, which are those guys right there. And then I kind of position it nicer so I can get a nice attack on them. After I take out these three swords, I'll go after those archers there take them out and then I'll continue up the wall and grab another swords these guys up here and then uh, do some more archers so see these guys got aggro and then bam all right so now I got the sword so I'm kind of just waiting for that I'll move the police up into position of course it attacks the wall but you'll have that and then I was just moving the other archers to get them closer and then the police to attack the guy which is nice all right so um, this is where you got to be careful so the police is busy with the wall but to everybody else, you can move up. And uh, what I'm doing with the first round here, the object is just to kill that last set of 30 archers there. Um, I only have tier 2. If you have tier 3, you can do this uh, you know, more efficiently. But since I only have tier 2, I'm just uh, trying to take it out piece by piece. So now I'm going to retreat everybody. Those guys will die to make sure my archers are protected, or my crossbowmen and archers are protected. And then I kind of pull this guy back too late. I should have pulled him back earlier, but I was curious if he was going to attack the archers. And then I'm like, eh, it's not worth the risk. So here's my strongest group. Uh, just trying to get them into decent position. And then they're going to take out the two archers first, and then uh, take out the swords, and then they're going to break down that wall. At least that's the plan. And I think it goes according to plan. So I'm just holding them to make sure that they don't get too far around the corner because I don't want them going after this archer up here or pulling anything else. So Actually, I don't think there's anything else to pull. I guess those guys, but we'll deal with those guys later. Uh, so now we're just breaking down the wall with the Ballista. I do have a siege army, but um, because I still have to fight these archers here and the swordsman up here, I'm not using the siege army yet, and you'll see why. Once this wall breaks down. Um, so it's it's pretty a little intensive on this one with the advance hold uh, and positioning of the armies. But, you know, if you have tier 3, it's just significantly easier. So uh, I'm just getting these guys into position. So I'm going to break down that gate. And then once I break down the gate, I want to take out this archer. And then the swordsmen as they come around the corner. Uh, so there's the gate. So I have the swordsman run in first, the ballista second, and then I have these archers here just in case they're needed, but you can see they're doing fine. So this guy's now on hold, but you can see he attacks the wall, but once the guys come into range, he switches to them, which is nice. So you can see he's beating the crap out of them as they're just running around the corner, and then I get everybody else in position just to finish him off. And then now I just have to break down the keep and run in some horses, so now I bring in my siege. So for the siege army, I in case something goes wrong, I have some crossbowmen and archers. I used to keep the uh, 
swordsmen alive and let these guys take it out, but I found it was better not to do it that way, so just take out the keep and then run everybody in, and that's the end of it. And there's only, you know, 30 or 60 archers attacking, so not a big deal. But that's it. Uh, that's taking out a level 28 uh, royal thing. So this one you can see was a royal woodside, um, and that's three waves and just all tier two. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, see ya.